Stop trying to burn more calories to lose weight. It's a losing strategy. All no right. pun intended. I, Stop I, it. Yeah, I said it, boys. Uh, so, <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> you know, um, to to elaborate a little bit, it's the manu. It's the trying to burn calories manually to create a calorie deficit, right? Mm. So, in order to lose weight, you have to burn more calories than you take in, and so yeah. people take that burn more calories side, and they say, "Well, I'm just going to move a lot more to burn more calories." But it's a losing strategy because there's two reasons. One. It's really hard to burn calories. Really easy to eat them, right? Yeah. So, like, how many calories is like in a, in a Coke? What is that? Two hundred something? Three hundred? That's about right. Or one eighty? One hundred eighty mm -hmm. calories in a can? Yeah, of Coke. So that's, 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 that's like it's right. been a while since so I looked at that. That's a good Coke thirty can. to forty minutes of of vigorous cardiovascular right, activity. Right. So it's like a lot of work, and eating those calories is super, or drinking them super easy. Was that close, Doug? 150 calories, 140 Ooh, yeah. for oh, yeah. So, yeah, classic. Yeah. Ah, very good. Uh, the second reason is the manual. Uh, the the trying to burn calories manually by moving more, your body really adapts to that really well. And we see that in studies where people try to lose weight with if if that's their attempt without diet, it they just don't it just doesn't well, happen. You know who loves to push this uh, message the most? I feel is like tech companies because you know they're it's so mathematical the way they think about fitness, especially this yeah. is what drives me crazy. Yeah. And they'll and because they have those numbers, right? They have the stats of like there's this many calories in this type of food, and if you just burn this amount of calories, mm -hmm. you know everything's going to be solved and you're going to lose weight. And they're not considering all the human behaviors that go along with it. Yeah. Well, what, what's the uh, adaptation time for cardio? Isn't it like two weeks or less? That's it's what pretty. I, it's pretty fast. That's like what the compare, certification said. Right. In comparison to resistance training, which I believe that I think the estimation was somewhere between six and eight weeks yeah. or somewhere around there. And I think that the cardio was like two. In other words, uh, it takes your body a lot longer to adapt to modalities like weight training, mm -hmm. which that in itself are going to give you benefits for burning calories. And then when you do something like cardio, you and, the, and I know it's not accurate, but I used to explain to a client that, okay, so pretend you get on this machine and run for an hour and it and let's pretend it's accurate and it burned you know 300 calories well the next time you get on it it burns 280 and then it, and with the same amount of effort same amount of effort and same amount of time and now it's burning 280 yeah. then 250 then 200 well, now, well, i know that doesn't well, your translate body to just exact. yeah it gets more efficient at what it does and so they don't factor that in it's like if you keep you know throwing the same type of stress of the body the body wants to get better at it, so it doesn't have to burn that many yeah. calories yeah more and more even more importantly Forget that you become efficient while doing the activity, which is true. You get better at it. The real issue is how the body adapts overall. You you end up getting this kind of like your metabolism adjusts, your activity levels adjust, your appetite adjusts to balance the things out. The best study we have on this are done on modern hunter-gatherers. It's a study I've quoted many times that there's others that where they actually went and studied modern hunter-gatherers who move a lot, way more than m most Westerners, way more. And they found that they burned roughly the same amount of calories. Now, the difference with something like resistance training is resistance training, forget the calories burned, it teaches your body to burn more calories on its own. So a faster metabolism is different than what I'm talking about, right? What I'm talking about is I got to get up and move yeah. to burn these calories. A faster metabolism is your body's just burning more calories on its own, which is a, a much uh, more effective strategy. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.